The Codex art creations exist in a dimension of computer icons and interfaces, a virtual reality following the logic and functions of the digital world. Pictograms and iconic systems, visual syntaxes, graphic interfaces, simplified alphabets and languages, virtual environments. Codex Art is the epitome of the studies and projects of Gualtiero and Roberto Carraro, multimedia authors and artists who've always worked with the digital languages of the new media to create global script. It's an art form that crosses the boundaries of the media, both material and immaterial at the same time. Like a form of writing, it can be transmitted by any means or object. Codex Art is the interface between the digital world and the physical world of art. A meeting point between the global network and the original expression of human communication, primitive pictography or picture writing. It's been a long road of experimentation, one that's created a vast and unique repertoire of global communication codes in time. The first nucleus of visual alphabets, developed by Gualtiero and Roberto Carraro, went on show in Ubica, the plain art network at the Venice Biennale in 1986. The road taken by Codex Art then led them to Pictomatica, exhibited in Kassel in 1987. The iconic interlingua Eurofuturismo was presented to Gorbachev at Moscow in 1989. Pictographic codes, China Graphia and Mimicon were developed in the late 1980s. And since then, the language of Codex Art has been produced in numerous applications and digital works that have received international acknowledgement at Frankfurt in 1995, London in 1997, and on Reunion Island in 2005. Codex Art proceeds along the lines of modern art but evolves into modern individual codes in universal cultural denominators. Art picks up the gauntlet thrown down by science and turns its attention to the evolution of knowledge and languages in the digital age, the future global codes of the 21st century.